We all know it, engines radically have changed chess analysis. There are some drawbacks and one of them is that the engines tend to make you lazy, tend to inhibit your own thinking because you always watch the engine output. There is a nice function which can work around this. You see there's this little button in the chess base engine output window and if you move your mouse over it, it will tell you toggle hint mode. We click on it and suddenly the engine variation is gone and there's a pure text there which means play a double attack. And if you go through the game you will see no variations but single hints which encourage you to think on your own. Of course you could look into the game notation and I'll show you a neat trick to put away with that. Please click on replay training and then, since we don't want to do the original replay training, click on this little symbol, the glass icon, click, and then you don't see the next move anymore. Just the last move of black, which was Queen E7. And now, put away with our life book. And of course, you all know this position. And what is our hint here? The hint is, you can solve this. Ah, oh, very helpful. Well, this means that there is a clearly best move which you can find by proper calculation on your own. There's no alternative, there's only one strong move and you can find it. And if you don't find it, you can click on next hint. And then it will tell you threaten a mate. Yeah, which is okayish in this position. The move threatens a mate indeed, but uh, Another click will tell you a much more significant hint, sacrifice your bishop. And there is only one meaningful way to sacrifice the bishop here. We all know this game, Botvinnik versus Capablanca. It's bishop a3, but still let's have a look at the next hint, because there are even more hints. This is a funny hint. It means bring your bishop to e7. What the heck should this mean here? Well, it means that the best line for black is denying the bishop's sacrifice, going away with the queen. And then the bishop in a active maneuver will indeed uh, get to e7, which didn't happen in the game. You know that. Next hint tells you attack the queen. Well, also fairly obvious. And finally, if you don't find this at all, you get as the last hint a move on the board. Okay, going back to the notation, we all know that bishop a3 happened and if we toggle the hint mode back to the engine output, you can see that this is also clearly the best move suggested by the engine in an already winning position. And so Botvinnik played this wonderful bishop a3 move. One little anecdote at the end of this. Um, when I met Botvinnik in Moscow a long time ago, <laughs> in the beginning of chess space, um, he talked to, to us about his chess program. And, uh, and he claimed that his chess program was able to find this move in this position.